Okay, so we've got two equations with two unknowns, x and y. They're unknown numbers. And we've got to solve by elimination. So we've got to figure out what... The, the whole point of this is to figure out, okay, what are the two numbers that will make these equations work? So in other words, x, x, y, the point equals what, right? But what's the x value? What's the y value that's going to make both equations work, right? So solving by elimination is where we add the equations together to eliminate one of the variables, and that helps us solve it. So sh should we get rid of the x's or the y's? It doesn't matter. You can do either way. Okay, let's do the x's. So I see a 2x here. 2x added to what would give um, 0? Like, what, what would I, like, or, or let, let me just do a few practice ones. Like, if I had a 7x, uh, I could add a negative 7x and that would make 0. Make sense? Or if I had, like, a negative 3y, what would I add to get 0? Positive 3. So, I have a positive 2x, so what do I need to add on to that to get a, to get a 0? Negative 2x, right? So, I'd like to add a negative 2x onto that so that these two add to give zero. So I gotta turn this equation into an equation with a negative two x. So what what do I multiply this equation by to make to make a negative two x happen? Negative. So but if I multiply this equation by negative two everywhere, the whole thing, I'll construct the situation where the x's can eliminate because negative two times x is negative two x. The negative two times two y is negative four y, right? And negative two times zero is zero. So if I multiply the top equation by negative two, I get this guy. And now I can, you know, add these equations together and the x's will eliminate. And that's handy because it'll you'll see how it'll help solve the, the equation. 2x minus 2x is 0. x's are gone. They're eliminated. Make 0. Negative y and negative 4y make what? <laughs> right. Yes, when you put them together. It's like a negative 1 and a negative 4. 1 negative and 4 negatives makes 5 negatives. Negative 5y equals and then 0 and 0 make 0. Right? So it's negative 5 times y equals 0. So we must divide by negative 5 on both sides to get what? All right, y equals 0. Good. So we've actually got one of the answers because we wanted the solution to x and y, right? If we figured out y, y is 0. We can actually put that in, y equals 0, right? So we're halfway there. So we have to find x. How do we find x? So yeah, 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 yeah. You can plug this in for y in either of the equations, the top one or the bottom one doesn't matter. Let's just pick the top one. X plus two y, two times y equals zero, and we figured out that y was zero, right? So we plug zero in for y. So now it's x plus zero equals zero, which makes what? x equals 0. Lots of zeros. So this is a, not surprised if if I totally empathize with students being confused on this because there's just zeros all over the place that it's but <laughs> Oh right, yeah. The negative 2 times 0 makes 0, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Sure, that makes sense. So at y is 0, x is 0, and this is our answer. x is 0, y is 0. No, that's it. And if we were to check it, and I'm just going to do this real quick. So if I was to check these equations, um, it's, you know, x plus 2y equals 0, and the other equation was 2x minus y equals 0. When I plug 0, 0 in for x and y, it should work out. Because look, 0 plus 2 times 0, what does this make? 0 equals 0, that's fine, smiley face. 
And if I plug 0 in for x and y into the other equation, I get what? 2 times 0 minus 0, that's just 0 minus 0, that's just 0 equals 0, smiley face again. So it does check out, right?